Hip dysplasia in dogs, symptoms and remedies. Hip dysplasia is one of the most common bone and joint diseases in dogs. Its symptoms can go unnoticed for a long time, making the pathology difficult to detect. The point to effectively treat pain, in order to improve the well-being of your animal. What is hip dysplasia in dogs? Hip dysplasia in dogs is a problem with the hip bones, the head of the femur is not properly seated in the acetabulum the socket of the hip joint. In a sense, the dog's bones form a puzzle, the femur must fit together perfectly at the hip socket to allow the leg to move properly. When the parts do not fit together perfectly, the discrepancy observed at the level of the head of the femur becomes problematic. The harmful consequences appear over time. The head of the femur deforms and becomes less and less well maintained in the cavity of the hip. The joint is damaged, the dog is in pain and starts to limp. Hip dysplasia in dogs has progressive side effects, it is the instability of the animal's joint when it is only a puppy that leads to continuous friction of the bone against the cavity. This friction damaging the cartilage over the years, leading to osteoarthritis pain. Is it a genetic pathology? Hip dysplasia in dogs is considered a genetic defect, that is, the parent can pass it on to their puppy. But other factors favor the occurrence of this osteoarticular pathology. The environment in which the puppy develops and moves, as well as its diet, in particular. Symptoms of hip dyspal. Symptoms are variable. They depend on the level of severity of the malformation and can vary from dog to dog. Symptoms in puppies, during its first weeks of life, the puppy with hip dysplasia expresses few symptoms. It is therefore difficult to detect the malformation at this young age. As it grows, the puppy may express the following symptoms. He remains seated for long periods of time. He is not very active. He is suffering after sporting activities. He shows signs of weakness in his hind legs when he walks. Its hind legs are very close together, and sometimes cross, when it moves. He refuses to go upstairs. Warning. The puppy only expresses these symptoms when the hip dysplasia is of a high level of severity. Typically, symptoms appear later, when time has led to the gradual breakdown of the joint. Symptoms in adult dogs. Does your dog have one or more of the following symptoms? He may be suffering from hip dysplasia. Your animal expresses pain, linked to muscle atrophy. Your dog limps, to minimize movement of the joint and thus reduce his pain. The pet adopts a particular gait when it runs. He can even run by simultaneously moving his two hind legs, like a jumping rabbit. Your dog feels cold, pain. When he wakes up from a long nap, for example, his numb joint makes him suffer even more and he has trouble getting back on his feet. After warming up the muscles, the pain noticeably decreases. When standing still, your animal keeps its two hind legs very close to each other. Possible treatments. The veterinarian's first reflex, if you suspect hip dysplasia in your dog, is to perform an x-ray to measure the extent of the damage. To cure the malformation, surgery is possible. Be aware, however, that most veterinarians advise against it, except when the dog's condition justifies it. As a general rule, when dysplasia is detected at a young age, and the signs of osteoarthritis are not yet visible, it is possible to operate on the dog in order to correct the position of the joint in order to improve its mobility. On the contrary, when the malformation is detected late, your veterinarian can advise you to have your dog put on a hip prosthesis. How to improve the comfort of your dog? In the absence of surgery, you can implement appropriate solutions to promote the well-being of your dog suffering from hip dysplasia. Anti-inflammatories reduce pain. Some dog physiotherapy or acupuncture programs can help your pet feel better. These painkillers also help slow down degeneration and increase muscle tone. Most affected dog breeds. The dog can suffer from hip dysplasia regardless of its breed, but large breed dogs are more particularly prone to this malformation. Here are the dogs most likely to develop hip dysplasia, German Shepherds, Labradors at Golden Retrievers, Rottweilers, Mastiffs and St. Bernards, Carlins, Bulldogs.